hello superstar it's sam keys here again welcome back to my channel in this video i want to quickly show you my opinion on the best time frame to trade volatility 705 index whether you're a scalper or a day trader or a position trader this video will give you a quick overview on the various time frames available in metatrader 5 and a suggestion on what time frame is best to take your entries set your stop loss and also your take profit if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and turn on notification by clicking the bell icon. Also, if you want to get the best from this video, I recommend you watch through till the end and pay a close attention to every detail. With that being said, let's proceed with the tutorial. In my previous video, I did a quick analysis on the daily time frame on Volatility 75 Index and I predicted the reason why price was going to go downwards. Let's take a quick look at that. As you can see on this asset, we can see that price is on a downtrend, right? Price is going bearish. And with the beginning of today, price went up bullish to a point, which is about 50% of the previous day candlestick, right? It went up, it started, it opened up at this point, then went up to about 50% of the previous candlestick and started coming back down. So this is an indicator that price is going to be going bearish. And with this, we're going to be looking out for opportunities to sell in the market. In that video, I went further to show a one minute strategy with which you can use to trade volatility 7 to 5 index and that strategy is what brought about these indicators that you can see on this chart now let's take a look at price on the daily time frame if you are a position trader perhaps you're holding trades over the week uh, perhaps over the weekend then you want to make your analysis over the daily time frame and when making your analysis you definitely want to look out for levels of support and resistance over the daily time frame as you can see on price here we have the resistance at the top there which actually came back to re retest you can see the resistance came back to retest here we have it here the zone came back to retest here and we have the breakout with price coming to test that resistance line as a new support and you definitely want to put your risk below and so on it goes so if you are trading the daily time frame the risk that you're going to be given will be much more than the risk you give when you're trading on perhaps the one minute time frame now let's go on to see what's happening here you see price went to the climax it got to the highest point and it came back broke this resistance line comes back above it and down it's just playing around that can you see that and now just recently right that was two days ago you can see the price came back to test this same this same resistance line it was a resistance point here it came to test it and price went back down so if you want to trade the first thing you want to do is to take a look at price on the daily time frame and map out every of the major resistance zone that you can see as we go for them going to come back to this daily time frame i'm going to see how we're going to put more analysis and link up every of the time frames let's take a look at the four hour time frame the four hour time frame breaks the daily time frame into six candlesticks and that is what we can see now now you can see the reaction that we are having in price i'm just for me to get back here and i'm going to bring back my arrow make it a bit smaller so i can make use of it on this four hour candlestick let's have this here good so let's take the arrow down here so i'm going to go back to the four hour time frame now you can see the structure we have here price seems to be accumulating over here but what structure are we having let's look at this you can see that we have lower lows right we have lower lows here but the highs are not um are not trending the highs are not trending right look at this you can see we have um let me bring in an arrow here we have this higher highs then later on we had a lower high so i would say the price tends to be choppy around the zone so if you want to trade this you want to be cautious now since we have lower lows um, i'll be looking at price from this perspective i'm just going to show you how i'm going to be looking at price i'm going to be looking at price from this perspective can you see that now this is where i'll be looking at price from so it's creating some kind of downtrend still it gets to the high of the trend line and then it goes back down and gets to the low of the trend line and it goes back up so we're looking out for a breakout in price here so now why price is going 
through this wave right one two three four five that's the earliest five primary waves why price is going there you could actually go in there and catch up some pips for yourself so for you to trade on this time frame you need to go further into the smaller time frame so let's take a look at the one hour time frame to see what is happening can you see that on the one hour time frame we have a clearer view of what is happening in the market now the one hour time frame breaks the four hour time frame into four candlesticks if you take a good look at this you're going to be able to identify support levels in price right here and if i go further i'm going to see the support levels much more clearly right now it is important that you take a look at the one hour time frame i repeat it is very important before you exit or before you enter your trade ensure that you take a look at the one hour time frame and also there are times where price um i have experienced this i have watched price movement i've had trades where i got to sit in front of the charts and i see price moving upwards and downwards right there are occurrences in the market where price would start a reversal at the commencement of the next one hour candlestick let's take this point for example can you see those tweezers the two huge candlesticks there the two candlesticks almost the same height can you see these two candlesticks you see price got to this point i got to the peak there perhaps you put a sell here and you're expecting price to go down and the next thing you're seeing it keeps going up it keeps going up oh sam it's going up it's about hitting my stop just be patient the next one hour candlestick that's going to form is going to create something new so at every one hour point if you have price getting to your um get into the 90 level of the rsi on the smaller time frame right like in the one minute time frame that i taught you on my previous video if you have it getting to that that level if it's getting to that um 90 level of the rsi on the moving averages right this indicator window too if it gets there on the one minute time i don't really want to open up the one minute time frame now right now if it gets there and you see the price keeps going up then look at the one hour time frame and check your watch check your watch people check it because as soon as it ticks, if it is 6.59, the next one minute, a new candlestick formation is going to take place and you're going to have price reversal. I've seen price reversal happen at the commencement of new one hour candlesticks over and over and over again. Okay, so whenever you're taking trades, be watchful of the time. So you want to get into a trade perhaps 15 minutes before time or 15 minutes before the new one hour candlestick or five minutes before the one hour candlestick or two minutes before the one hour candlestick or something like that. Just take a close attention and um, you're going to improve in your trading. This is just some tips that many mentors are not going to tell you and I'm telling you that for free. So if you've not subscribed to this channel, I want you to do that now so that you keep seeing more of my videos. Now let's go over to the 30 minutes time frame and see what we can get from it. On the 30 minutes time frame, we have the one hour candlestick broken down into two candlesticks. That is two 30 minutes candlesticks. Now, if you take a proper look at this, you're going to see what is happening. You can see that that support zone that we have, you can see clarity now. You can see it more detailed. You can see more details in the market. Can you see this? Price was a resistance here. It came here, broke and came back to retest and goes up and comes back here. It broke it fake breakout oftentimes this kind of breakout goes out to haunt your stops right but if you take this straight at the commencement of a new one hour candlestick let me apply that thing i just told you now look at this can you see it guys can you see you saw that we had price going down and in the new candlestick exactly what i said just a moment ago we had the price reversal so i'm going to go back to um the 30 minute time frame which gives us more details. So it's 30 minutes time frame, the particular time frame that I want you to go in. I've given you a clue already. Just before the new one hour candlestick, it's a very good time to get in. So on what time frame do you want to see the price to get your entries? Let's look at a 15 minutes time frame. If you look at every of these indicators, as we are toggling through different time frames, you're going to see um, several variations of the moving averages right and also the cci and also the relative strength index which is on indicator window one now in the 15 minute time frame before that breaks down the one hour candlestick into four candlesticks four 15 minute candlesticks and also it breaks down the 30 minute candlestick into the into two candlesticks okay now i'm just going to show you just the reason why we're looking at it this way is just to see what is happening further in the market okay what is happening in the market all right i'm going to show you something here now look at this can you see the formation we have in price here 
the, the number of 15 minute candlesticks and we have an other block permit me to bring in a rectangle tool here and i'm going to map out this there's something we'll call other blocks and other breakers okay i'm going to give you a quick um interpretation of those terms now you can see that there is an order block here why is it important that even when you're taking your trade on the one minute time frame it is necessary for you to look at price on the higher time frames so that you will have a view of where price is going to why is it that important that is what i want to show you now you can see that if you are trading this on the one minute time frame and price happens to be in this order block where you set your take profits shouldn't be below the other blocks you should have several entries fine okay and when you have several entries ensure that you are taking profit so that you don't see your your account going in profit and at the end of the day, price comes back and kicks you out in loss so how do you manage that you want to put in two trades let's say you it got to this other block and you identify price creating equal highs at the high level you want to put in a sell and first take profit at the support zone then you take a second trade when you're putting your first entry you put two entries the first you take take profit here then the second one you keep running and you put your next take profit at the support below the next support line that we already identified on the higher time frame okay so if price starts going back up remember as soon as you take first profit move your stop loss to your entry point so that you will do what break even equally you can also be trailing your stop on that second entry which is still active remember you made two entries you took the first entry and there was price taken out in profit then the second one is still running because you had your take profit below here as soon as this, the first one takes profit you start trailing your stop so you'll be able to secure some profit for yourself so now when this happens do not be greedy be specific about how many pips you want to get if you're looking out for just 1000 pips then you know that two um, 15 minute candlestick that will be going downwards are definitely going to give you 1000 pips right can you see it? It's happening here. This is what I'm just doing the analysis so that you guys will have a, a clear understanding of how these candlesticks, they operate. Why did I say two 15 minute candlestick? Every candlestick has an average swing. That's what I call average swing. In one of my videos, I did average swing. Now, the average swing has to do with the statistics of the highest number of people a particular candlestick can go why do i call it statistics you're going to check out for the average you can see here we had about 796 pips and here we had smaller ones you can have so if you check out the average it should be around 500 pips so the 15 minute candlestick can give you up to 500 pips so if you're looking out for 1000 pips on vix 75 then you should be looking out for two 15 minute candlesticks which are going in the same direction now the five minute time frame further breaks down the 15 minute time frame into three candlesticks and the five, the five minute candlestick gives us um, a maximum number of pips that you can actually go the five minute can, um, time frame can actually give you um let's say 200 pips or thereabout that should be the average can you see that just this one here is giving us 500 pips right if you check out the average it should be about 200 to 300 pips that's what you can get with the five minute candlestick now let's see this other one you can see that this five minute candlestick also gave us this is about 500 pips can you see five five seven eight please study this so that whenever you're taking a trade you will know what your um expectancy would be expectancy has to do with your stops and also your take profit so you check out the maximum that the five minute candlestick can go so when you're taking a trade and you see the, the five minute candlestick going so rapidly you will know what to expect perhaps a reversal or a continuation now we have that you can see the five minute candlestick you can also do something else in a five minute candlestick you can create a trend inside the market can you see this on the five minute candlestick i can see this clearly i can see this i can see an uptrend so it all has to do with what you can see if you want to become a millionaire you first have to see yourself as a millionaire you have to go there to get there so you have to have foresight and ego sight on the market if you can see it then you can have it can you see what i'm seeing here right can you see this trend line i just showed you now is not a coincidence price reacts to it that's price action look at this we have the formation here and it got to this point it broke it then it came back here to retest for resistance and came back down then broke it up and tested it as a new support and start going up can you see this guys it comes back to touch it and there's what a re re reversal in price if you have gone through the one minute time frame strategy that i shared in my previous video you're going to know how to take an entry with this setup it goes further to show us what is happening what is really happening inside the clothes what's happening there we have a resistance up there 
and I'm expecting price to get there and someone want to go in for a sell if it has touched that point up to three times you know it will definitely break that these are simple terms these are simple things that happen in the market over and over and again can you see that right so with all this said let's see how we can put every of these time frames together I can see it on the one minute time frame I can see it now on the five minutes time frame I see larger I see more analysis on the 15 minutes time frame I see the 30 minutes time frame and I also see the one hour time frame and I also see the four hour time frame and I also see the daily time frame that is so amazing so what is the correlation between every of these time frames it is simple and I'm going to show you now now, what is the correlation? It's all about your target. How many peeps are you looking out to get? If you're looking out to get 30,000 peeps from the market, definitely 30,000 peeps is not something you're going to get in a number of 15 minutes or thereabout. You can only get that when you're trading intraday. Let's say you're trading several days, intraday trading or position. You can see that from the highest point there to this point, we have about 30,000 peeps. If you um, don't know how to calculate pips, I've done a video that is the derived killer strategy for VIX75. Go and watch that video. It's going to show you how to calculate pips. Now, the number of pips that you can get on the four-hour time frame is different, right? Each four-hour time frame, you're getting about 3,000 pips on the four-hour time frame. On the one-hour time frame, you're getting an average. I'm just going to pick out the highest, the highest so far. I'm going to pick out the highest. On the one hour time frame we're getting about um 2000 pips and on the um the next one is the 30 minutes time frame on the 30 minutes time frame we're getting about um we're getting i can see this we're getting 700 to 1000 pips and so on it goes onto the one minute time frame so one minute time frame let's see the highest we can get from the one minute time frame how many pips can price go in one minute an average of 200 pips or so perhaps 150 literally we can see 168 pips right here can you see that so why do you need every of these candlesticks it helps you to determine what your expectations would be your stops if you're risking 200 pips then you should know the time frame that you're going to be trading with if you want to risk 500 pips then you should know the time frame you're going to be trading with if you want to risk 1000 pips then you should know it. definitely if you're risking 1000 pips that should be you trading intraday so the best time frame to take your entries as a scalper is the one minute time frame before you do the one minute time frame, make sure you look at price on the one hour time frame. Do your analysis, check out the trends, check out the highs and the lows, the support, resistance, and trend lines. Okay, and go in to the one hour, the one minute time frame. Check the other block. What kind of structures are you having there? Then you identify. It. If you're trading on one minute time frame, you know you're looking out for like 500 pips to 1,000 pips, perhaps 200 to 1,000 pips, and that will take a number of five minute candlesticks. Okay. I'm going to tell you much more in my next video. I hope you got huge value from this video. Feel free to drop your questions in the comments below and also let me know if you find this video helpful. Check out the description of this video to get linked to send me a direct message if you want to subscribe to my VIP group or perhaps sign up for my mentorship program. If you want to learn more about my trading strategies for VIX 705, check out these two videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. My name is Sam Keys and I'm always here to help.